Today we are resurrecting a video that was always pretty popular, but I just kind of got out of the habit of mostly due to time, and that is Stack of Five. If you are unfamiliar, basically what I do is pull five books from my shelves that are just kind of calling my name right now. They may be on a theme, they may not, but just five books I wouldn't mind reading. I obviously can't read them all at the same time though, so I let you guys decide which one of the five I will be reading. And for this resurrected stack of five, there is definitely a theme. I was really feeling fantastical, slightly fairy tale esque transportive tales this time around. It might be because we're coming up on the time of year that I would normally do Fairy Tale Fortnite, and I didn't do Fairy Tale Fortnite last year. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be doing it this year. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. But for whatever reason, this time of year, leaving winter, going into spring, with everything coming to life and growing and whatever, has always just felt like the fairy tale time of year for me, which is why I started Fairy Tale Fortnite in the spring. So most of the books on this stack reflect that theme. I'm going to leave all of the books linked in the description, but I don't think I can fit the synopsis for all five books in the description. So instead, I think I'm going to put them in the comments. You can also upvote them. If you read a synopsis that you think is the one you want to go with, in addition to giving your vote or instead of giving your vote in the comments, you can upvote that particular synopsis and I will count that as a vote. New rule. I think I like this. So, the five books that are just calling my name and that you get to pick from are Bindle's End by Patricia McKillop. I sat down to edit this and realized that I went on, on and on about Patricia McKillop and how I hadn't read any of her books, but I had read her short stories and I've heard this and I've heard that and basically a whole little tangent. And didn't realize until I sat down to edit this that that wasn't at all the book that I was talking about. Rob McKinley wrote Spindle's End, which was the book I'm holding in this. When I was trying to choose books for this, I had looked at The Bards of Bone Plain by Patricia McKillop and thought about picking that, and I guess because I saw that, I conflated in my head Spindle's End by Robin McKinley with another somewhat similar book, The Forgotten Beasts of Eld by Patricia McKillop. So a lot of what I'm saying about this, I was actually thinking The Forgotten Beasts of Eld, so that's what happened there have actually read Robin McKinley, so pretty much everything I said was inaccurate. This is one of the ones that is actually a fairy tale retelling. It takes on the tale of Sleeping Beauty, but I think even beyond that, it's a fantasy in its own right, and a pretty popular one. But I've heard some really mixed thing about both this thing? Just one. I heard some really mixed one thing. Really mixed things about her writing and this book in particular. So even though it really appeals to me, I've always kind of put off reading it because I don't want to get bogged down in it. So it's just been lingering on my shelves, but lately it has really been calling my name. And every time I'm like just browsing my bookshelves looking for something to read, this keeps drawing my eyes. So this might have to be the one. So Spindle's End is <laughs> staying on the list. And it is true that Spindle's End was what keeps drawing my eye. It has been drawing my eye for a while. Next time we do a similar stack, I'll have to put The Forgotten Beast of Eld in the pile because that was what I actually meant to do. But for now, Spindle's End is staying in, so you can vote for it. Then we have Trickster's Choice by Tamra Pierce. This is sort of a spin-off of the Song of the Lioness series, which I've talked about many a time on this channel. The Alana books did things to me as a kid. They totally changed the way I read and the types of stories that I loved and looked for when I was a kid. So they hold a special place in my heart, and this is a spin-off of that following Alana's daughter. I've had both books in this series sitting on my shelves for years, and I kind of can't believe I haven't read them yet. So though this one isn't fairy tale related, it is that kind of transportive fantasy story, and even more transportive for me because it's going to kind of take me back to a world that I fell in love with when I was, you know, nine or ten. Yeah, this was calling my name too. Then we have Sybil's Secret by Juliette Marillier, Marillier, someone for the love of God, please tell me which way you say her name, because every single time I say it both ways, because I can't figure out which way to say it. I've googled this so many times, like, if anyone ever has to go through my search history for, like, a crime, they're gonna be like, why is she so obsessed with this woman's last name? I google that more than anything else. This is another one I've had on my shelves for a while, and I don't know if it retells an actual tale, or if it just is a continuation or kind of in relation to Wildwood Dancing, which did retell um, the Twelve Dancing Princesses, my childhood favorite, along with the elves and the shoemaker. Something about shoes, I guess. You really, you can't go wrong with her. 
and I've heard really good things about this and I know some people liked it even more than Wildwood Dancing so I probably should have read it by now. The other one in the stack that is definitely absolutely a fairy tale retelling is The Swan Maiden by Heather Tomlinson. Pretty self-explanatory. I had forgotten that this was on my shelves. I was looking for something else and I was like, well, Swan Maiden? And pulled it off and I was like, yeah, why haven't I read this? I like all of the swan tales. The the swan fairy tale traditions just those connect with me for some reason. Birds. All the bird tales. I don't know what that's all about. Obviously this is a fairy tale retelling and I don't know that I've really heard a lot about this one. I don't really see people talk about it too much. I know I have friends that have read it, but you know, it's been on the backlist for a while, so maybe people have kind of forgotten about it and it's dropped off the radar a bit, so could be a good one to review just on that score, but either way it just sounds really good. Now lastly, I was gonna have Howl's Moving Castle, which I have never read, though I have watched and loved the anime, but it's not where it's supposed to be. It should have been on my shelf with the other brownish goldish books, and it wasn't there. I pulled everything off the shelf, can't find it. Looked on surrounding shelves, couldn't find it. So. I don't know where that has gotten to, but I can't read it if I can't find it. So instead, <laughs> this is the departure from the stack, because this one doesn't fit in with the rest, but it's also been kind of calling my name, and that is Paper Valentine by Brenna Yovanoff. Totally different. This is kind of horror, urban fantasy, dark fantasy, murder mystery thing. But I just, I love Brenna's writing a lot, and I think I could really connect to it right now. And, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, so... <laughs> it's seasonally thematic, if in a twisted way. So yeah, it doesn't quite fit the stack, but it's part of it regardless. So those are the books. As I said, the synopsis for each will be in the comments. You can vote in the comments by letting me know which one you think I should read and review. You can also upvote the synopsis of the one that you think sounds best. I'm going to leave the voting open for one week, and then I will be reading whichever one is the winner and will do a video review of it on this channel. So once again, those books are Paper Valentine by Brenny Ovenoff, the Swan Maiden by Heather Tomlinson, Sybil's Secret by Juliet whatever her name is, Trickster's Choice by Tamara Pierce, and Spindle's End by Robin McKinley. Vote in the comments, gather up other people to vote, let me know which one you've loved or most want to hear my thoughts on, and you know, pick a good one for me guys. But that is all for this newly revived stack of five. Until next time, I will see you guys again soon.